It seems that every stigma associated with Donald Trump is nothing but propaganda to convince the American voter that Donald Trump is the enemy and that Hillary Clinton is the people's champ. In this video, I will be taking you through a timeline showing Hillary Clinton as a supporter of racist politicians, anti-same-sex marriage, illegal immigration, and religious ideologies. And not as a defender of women's rights, as she pr proclaims, but instead as a misogynist, a racist who has labeled black criminals as super predators, a liar, and a career politician who will even undermine religious ideologies in order to fulfill her own shady agenda. Topic number one, Hillary glorifies a racist politician. Today our country has lost a true American original, my friend and mentor Robert C. Byrd. Senator Byrd was a man of surpassing eloquence and nobility, and I will remember him for many things. It is almost impossible to imagine the United States Senate without Robert Byrd. He was not just its longest serving member, he was its heart, its soul, and its historian. From my first day in the Senate, I sought out his guidance and he was always generous with his time and his wisdom. I admired his tireless advocacy for his West Virginia constituents, his fierce defense of the Constitution and the traditions of the Senate, and his passion for a government that improves the lives of the people it serves. I know many of you Clinton supporters are probably asking yourself, what proof is there that Senator Robert Byrd was a racist? Well, to answer your question, here's an interview on Fox News where Senator Robert Byrd was asked about his views on race relations in America. My old mom told me, Robert, you can't go to heaven if you hate anybody. We practice that. There are white niggers. I've seen a lot of white niggers in my time. I'm going to use that word. But we've all, we all, we just need to work together to make our country better ground. And I just soon quit talking about it so much. As you can see, the man that Hillary Clinton glorifies went as far as saying he's seen a lot of white niggers in his lifetime. Ending the interview by saying, stop talking about it so much. Topic number two, misogynist. It seems like this word has been tossed around a lot by the mainstream media and anti-Trump groups to discredit him and label him as prejudiced simply because he's pro-life rather than pro-choice. So let's take a closer look at Hillary Clinton and her stance on equal pay for women. Here's Hillary Clinton campaigning in favor of women while the foundation that she and Bill own pays men 38 percent more than women and I don't see how as that gets known to the average person how That's she's going to survive that yeah. well I mean the yeah. hypocrisy and the dishonesty of saying oh I'm really worried about women getting a fair wage oh by the way not in my own not on the place I control I think it's enormous yet this is what Hillary Clinton has been telling her pro-feminist know-nothing minions about her stance on equal pay for women and how Donald Trump has been attacking her saying that she's playing the women's card. This is just hilarious. Mr. Trump accused me of playing the quote woman card. <laughs> well, if fighting for women's health care and paid family leave and equal pay is playing the woman card, then deal me in. I know a lot of you pro-feminist women out there could care less if Hillary Clinton pays her female staff way less than she does her male staff. So I'm going to ask you a more serious question. Would you still vote for her if you found out that Hillary Clinton fought tirelessly to free a man who raped a 12-year-old girl? If you wouldn't, then I'd like you to take a closer look at this clip I'm about to share. There are Clinton in the 1980s discussing a case she took on as a young lawyer in Arkansas, the one in which she represented a man accused of raping a 12-year-old girl. Here's Hillary in her own words laughing about how she helped get this convicted child rapist a reduced sentence. That case where I represented that guy, that was, it, was, it, was, it was a fascinating case. It was really an interesting case. It was well, of course, he claimed that he did all this stuff. He took a lot of 
which he passed. So ever since I must have played cards. How did it turn out? Oh, he played cards. He got him off. He was trying to serve him in the jail. He did the of jail about two months. Since when has rape ever been a laughing matter? But I'm pretty sure most of you women out there really don't care. All you're really concerned about is seeing a female president. Sad, sad, sad. So what we'll do is we'll move on to the next topic. Topic number three, same-sex marriage. Domestic issues in New York State. This state's always the sort of the social beginnings of so much in this country. People come here, a lot of immigrants. The New York Times recently began posting the celebrations on the, of, of, of gay unions. Not just straight people getting married, but gay people who want to announce their unions. Do you think New York State should recognize gay marriage? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Would you? I believe that marriage is not just a bond, but a sacred bond between a man and a woman. I have had occasion in my life to defend marriage, to stand up for marriage, to believe in the hard work and challenge of marriage. Yet she continues to have the support of the LGBT community while they continue to rally and protest against Donald Trump, calling him a homophobe for absolutely no reason with absolutely zero proof. Topic number four, illegal immigration. We've got to do several things, and I am, you know, adamantly against illegal immigrants. I made this exception basically on humanitarian grounds because of the individual stories, but certainly we've got to do more at our borders, and people have to stop employing illegal immigrants. Come up to Westchester, go to Suffolk and Nassau counties, stand in the street corners on, in Brooklyn or the Bronx. You're going to see loads of people waiting to get picked up to go do yard work and construction work and demand. Not only is Hillary Clinton against illegal immigration, she's also against any company who employs illegal immigrants in the United States. Yet the Hispanic community continues to support Clinton while simultaneously still rallying and protesting against Donald Trump's war plan, calling it racist against Hispanics. Topic number five, last but not least, racist rhetorics against the black who commit crime. Not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heal. I think we've got a very, uh, I think we've got somebody saying here, we have to bring them to heal. Okay, we'll talk about it. I'm not a super predator, Hillary Clinton. Okay, fine, we'll talk about it. We apologize to black people for mass incarceration. Well, can I talk? And then maybe you can listen to what I say. Okay, thank you very much. Um, there's a lot of issues, a lot of issues. Conclusively, this video was made to show the majority of you how much you know about the woman that you're voting for, which is basically absolutely zero. You guys have to wake up and stop being puppets of propaganda, allowing the mainstream media to make you all look like a bunch of dumbasses whose only desire is to vote for Hillary Clinton simply because she's a woman. This is America. We can do better than that. Stop allowing your petty outlook on life to destroy the future that we leave behind for our children. Feel free to like, share, and comment. Any, any questions or suggestions, just inbox me. Let's make America great again.